Well, Curry and I, first and foremost, it was a, a partnership between two guys in New York that were printers. They created a printmaking company, almost sort of a legacy, really. Um, and this operation, this, uh, this factory of Curry and Ives that created prints, uh, lasted for over 70 years, so from the 1830s well up into the, uh, into the first part of the 20th century. During that time frame, they created what's been estimated at a, probably about 8,000 individual prints, which is sort of like saying that they produced a print every two to three days. And the prints that they created really scanned the gamut of topics here in America. You really get a great idea of just the types of artwork that they were creating, the types of images. And I think ultimately people get a better idea of what Americans thought of themselves in the 1800s. We have this beautiful image of the Statue of Liberty that everybody goes, um, <laughs> they go, kind of go gaga for. It's just a really remarkable image. We have a few of the really iconic images of Courier and Ives at Christmas time, the Thanksgiving images around the table, these sort of family, um, these very family oriented images. But then we also have these really sort of compelling pictures, uh, topical moments of American tragedies, burning bridges and burning uh, boats, major catastrophes within American history. Uh, there are also this big section on historical images, so portraits of uh, early presidents, signings of certain treaties, and sort of history images. And then my personal favorite is this whole area on sort of recreation in American industry. So the growing interest in American horse racing during the 1800s or California gold miners and some uh, fun images of them getting on early trains to the West Coast and sort of moving across the country. Interestingly, they got their big break by creating prints almost in real time as they were topical and they got them out hot off the press into people's hands while people were still talking about the subjects of these images. Some of the big um, sort of major images that they produced were images of major buildings within, major, within cities in America um, that were on fire, <laughs> that had burned to the ground, that um, had brought a lot of attention from their neighbors and from the communities that had created it. They talked to individuals of eyewitness account, created an image, started printing it, and in some cases, the, the public jokingly sort of referred to Courier and Ives selling images of burning buildings while it's still smoldering because they were able to turn it around so quickly. This, of course, was really, really important to their success, really important to the, for the buying public. It was a great interest in the sort of contemporary scene imagery. Um, and with the rise of the publishing industry, so the pro proliferation of magazines and the proliferation of printed books and the sort of rise of people's ability to even read um, within our societies, the printmaker became preeminent. And so they were really at the top of this wave of image makers within America. There are examples of Courier and Ives covering the Civil War, where they are clearly taking kinds of liberty with the storyline, with the military actions within the Civil War, and they're either making things up or they are following the popular articles at the time to create these images about these battles. Looking back on them today, they're actually somewhat of a fallacy. They didn't exactly happen in that way. Um, and in some cases, it was sort of, uh, the images were almost created as propaganda, sort of pro-North propaganda in the middle of the Civil War. So it's interesting how they react, not necessarily just to the need of certain kinds of images for historical accuracy, but also sort of uh, image making to sort of build up the American spirit. I think that they showed the American people and really the sort of journalist um, industry how possible and how necessary it was to come up with those images to illustrate those contemporary topics. So individuals didn't want to just hear about these catastrophes, didn't want to just hear about the war, they wanted the war pictured. They illustrated the Civil War at the same time that this new medium of photography was creating images of uh, war-torn battlefields and things of that nature, also from the Civil War. I believe that there was a hunger for images of contemporary topics based upon the fact that there were technologies that could provide them. And I think Courier and Ives were one of the first real sort of major printing companies in America to really sort of point that out to the industry and to the buying public that they should expect it.